Hi guys, Bamboo here with another awesome Dominations video for you. So today I wanted to uh, just basically show a couple replays of where my base got attacked. Uh, you can see that I changed my layout from the last couple of videos. But I wanted to go ahead and show you um, that, you know, I always get attacked and I pretty much always lose also. I feel like offense is pretty overpowered in this game compared to defense. So I actually did the best uh, that I've done in a while on my last attack. I uh, only got one starred, which is it's good. It's much better than losing 12 medals, just losing two. All right, so here we go. This is the base that they attacked. I'm going to speed it up for a little bit so we can get them started. So they started with a, a sabotage spell, freezing my four defensive structures there. They dropped all their stuff right here on the left side. Not really where I hope people will attack me from. I'm kind of hoping they'll go from the bottom. but And they have a level 15 general, which those things are just about indestructible. So I don't I can't wait till I can get to level 15. But his mistake, uh, he, he didn't bring enough healers. So as his guys take damage, they're not going to be able to be healed fast enough. It's going to make a big difference. That's why I always bring two to three healers with when I do a raid. It really helps keep your guys alive. He also should not have rallied everybody that close to the middle where everything can target them. Because now, you know, both those mortars are firing and his cannons are now down. You can see he used his mercenaries with all those elephants. Those things take forever to kill. He actually, it, you know, is having a real hard time. He's barely getting the uh, the town center damaged. It's, uh, it's actually a miracle he didn't lose this. Yeah, he's yeah he got the town center, but yeah he's not gonna do much else. He wasted a heal spell right there because there's really no chance that he's gonna get another star on this base. I think he realizes that his guys are just going to be beating on the walls for a while, so, I mean, you can see, yeah, his general meets mine, gets killed on the spike traps, nothing really he's got going now, he's he's done. So, you know, he did steal a uh, a decent amount of food, I had 300,000 available, he got 120 of it, eh. you can see his army below though. He used his mercenaries with five, two knights, and three of the uh, war elephants, two cannons, one healer. Uh, again, I'd have brought more healers. But, you know, it was pretty good. So that was the last defense. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit about my base in this video. So I was going to show you that I completed my research in the library. So here's the library. So I actually have everything done now. Pretty much since I started playing this game, I always had something going in the library, and it doesn't really take that long to complete everything. So, I mean, you can see what everything does. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it definitely makes a big difference when you get your research done. So the library's done, so um, I have all this food. I don't really have anything I can do with it except for upgrading my generals and war tactics and troops. And right now, my armory still has eight hours to finish the uh, the upgrade on the barrage tactic, which really I don't even use yet, but I'm hoping to in the future. So I'm going to start finishing the general upgrades once this is finished. As far as my army goes, I've got I maxed out all the troops that I plan to use. The dragoon raider, I don't I don't really use that, so I don't really see the need. <clears throat> the generals are my next priority for sure. So yeah, the castle's maxed, my temple is maxed, and you know now that the library research is done, the training blessings available, which that is the best thing ever, allows you to train your army very very quickly. Um, so yeah, as far as my wonders go, you see that I've got the Acropolis, um, as well as the Colosseum, and Versailles. This is the only one I'm not sure about. It's really annoying how much it slows everybody down. When I attack people and they have this, it, it does bother me. But I don't know. I'm thinking about switching it. If I can accumulate enough crowns to do that again. I already switched them once. So I'm going to do an attack for you. I like to do a live raid in every video. So we're going to do at least one right now. 
I've been I really love that now whenever I search I can always find someone to attack. Of course this guy has an absolute ton of loot first try. Alright, we're gonna give this a shot. So he actually has his town center on the side here, so he's hoping I'll just take you know an easy one an easy trophy and then leave him alone. Which normally I would do, but since I'm recording this live, he's gotta go. So I'm gonna drop all my soldiers first. Then my healers cannons, I'll drop the mercenaries, Cleopatra, or I think that's Alexander, that's my, my level 7 general. Alright, I got everybody down, I haven't actually used my strength of the gladiator yet today, so go ahead and get that involved too, there's good. I guess I'll go ahead and freeze some of this stuff. rally everybody together. This guy's got a very challenging base. It's going to be tough to get a five star on him. But it can be done. So here we go. Cannons are doing some pretty good work. Whenever you use your mercenaries it's just such a huge advantage to have five extra beastly knights like that. So I mean I feel pretty good about this raid at this point. Again, the most difficult thing for me to deal with is definitely the uh, the defending knights, the stables, and the garrisons. Those troops are so so hard for your army to kill. It's not even the cannons and the mortars that are the problem. It's those troops. So that's usually what I try and take out first if I can. And of course, these cannons, these ballista towers, do so much damage. They'll wreck your generals and your knights. I'm going to go ahead and freeze that with my last freeze spell. Dropping my heal. Mostly just to hope to heal my general a little bit so that I can not have to wait so long to use him again. Because that is definitely super annoying. And you can see he's getting healed, you know, almost to full health. Row everybody back together. I still have all three of my supply trains and my cannons and all six of my knights. Well, Crusaders. So yeah, it's a pretty successful raid. It looks like I'm not going to lose any of my expensive troops. I just lost the cheap soldiers and the riflemen. So yeah, it's going to look like a nice five star actually. Yep, guys are doing good. Ugh. See how much damage that thing did to my general with one hit? That almost killed it in two hits. It's Jesus. Alright, alright. Finishing up. Awesome. Complete destruction. This guy had just so much loot I couldn't resist. Even though I don't need the food, I still like stealing it. I don't know. It makes me feel good. But 326,000 gold. That's pretty awesome. And the 40,000 bonus for the uh, the Kingdom 3 League. Pretty good. Yeah, you know, I really like the uh, the little symbol that you get when you join the Kingdom League. Up here in the uh, the top right corner. It looks pretty awesome. You get it that at 2,000 medals. I'm going to try to hit the Kingdom 2 today. I just need to get to 22. And uh, I've got 2114 right now. So I need... Uh, you know, probably a whole day's worth of attacks. It would be nice if I could find somebody with uh, more than worth more than one trophy, but or more than one medal. But lately, most of the people that I come across, even maxed out enlightenment players, are only worth one medal each when I attack. So that's kind of discouraging. But usually, you can attack so rapidly in this game without waiting because you keep your troops. It keeps me interested, and you know, it makes a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and activate another one of my generals. i got to remember to train more war tactics. Yeah, I used all four. I like to bring three sabotage and one first aid. I feel like that's like the strongest combination. Alright, so that's it for now, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, train some more mercenaries, or hire some mercenaries. These Hessen Cavalry are just so beastly. Now, look at these stats. 
95 40 hit points, 316 damage. And that's with no weapon blessing or anything. That's just the base stats. So that's, that's obviously the strongest one. The, uh, the big elephant here, slightly less of each, but still really good. <clears throat> so I typically do uh, as much as I can afford of these knights, and then I'll do the uh, elephants for the rest. That just makes such a huge difference in your army when you need it. And that's really what the trade goods are for, for the blessings and for the mercenaries. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed my video, hope you liked the raid and liked watching the defense. I'm going to go ahead and play one more defense that I got a, I got pretty much obliterated uh, on my old base before I wrap up this video. So this one was from, you know, like a day ago. But this guy, uh, yeah, minus 14, he 5 starred me. Oh, I can't replay it. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess you don't get to see that. But next time, I'll try and show you one. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.